Hey everybody, it's me, Mark Maxwell, aka Dr. Sax Love. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I created my smooth jazz version of the Game of Thrones theme song. It's pretty interesting, so stick around. So I came up with the idea of doing a smooth jazz version of the Game of Thrones theme song uh, quite serendipitously one evening about three weeks ago. I had no idea how it was going to sound and I just kind of jumped in it and I decided to video it so I could share with you the creation process. I hope you enjoy it. Here it goes. So what I'm doing here is a Google search for the sheet music for Game of Thrones. Uh, here's one that's interesting. It's just the basic melody. That's really all I need. So I'll go ahead and uh, download this and go from there. So the next thing I'm going to do is listen to the song itself, which I've already heard a thousand times. But what I want to do is pick out the parts that are important that I want to preserve. Obviously, we have to preserve the melody. Da, 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 da. But the question to me is how much of the background or what elements in the background do we want to preserve? Dun, 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 dun. That happens throughout the song. How important is that really? Well, it's probably really important, but those are the kind of decisions they need to make. So I use a program called Digital Performer to create music. And here's the basic screen. These are all the tracks that... Uh, well, this is a a, uh, a little template that I put together. Got all these tracks that I can use at some point. Uh, on this song, the place I'm going to start is with this virtual instrument, which is called Stylus RMX. And basically what this is is a uh, drums and groove generator. All right, so I found a beat I like. I have a collection of... Uh, of beats called Backbeat. This one called LA Shuffle, I think we'll do. Here it is. See, it just fits just right. So I've got this groove going that I like. And I'm gonna play and I'm gonna play a flute part over that. So here we go. All right, that was okay. Now I'm going to play another flute part on top of that. And now I'm going to add some percussion. Uh, this is a, an African log uh, instrument I have, and it kind of sounds like this. Kind of a nice tribal feel to it. So I'll clean that up and maybe add some more percussion. All right, so I've added a keyboard part and uh, another percussion part, a little shaker part, and I've got something that is kind of taking form here. I'm liking it very much, so I'm going to quit for this evening, maybe go watch some TV with my wife. Here's what we've got so far. All right, since the last time, I have kind of developed the themes that we started with the other night uh, in terms of the kind of revolving uh, three against two rhythm, uh, the piano parts and the flute parts. And so I came up with this verse here. Kind of continuation of that keyboard part. some strings so down here there's another 
verse and some background flutes. Here comes the bridge section. These are all parts that I've just kind of made up as I've gone along. They're very similar to a lot of parts that I've done on a lot of other songs. But they sound nice. All right, that's the end of the melody. I'm just kind of vamping on this theme right here. That's it. We've got 2 minutes and 14 seconds done of this little version. And that's all for tonight. Well, okay, I got up at 5 o'clock this morning and started working on this song. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the background, it's snowing quite nicely here in Ann Arbor. So what I did today was uh, I started refining this chorus section. Let me play that for you real quickly here. I added this little choir part that plays the melody. Okay. Uh, I added this vamp section after that chorus section. Uh, this will be for sax soloing. Of course, along the way, I've been kind of massaging the keyboard and bass parts. You see this little part right here? These little parts? These are kind of uh, synthesized, interesting parts. Uh, for instance, this one is a backward tape loop thing. It, it sounds kind of cool. I just add these in for a little spice. Uh, here you can see how they sound here at... I like those sounds. I'm not sure I'll leave them in there, but I like them. So this will all be sax soloing. And uh, I also kind of completed the form after that sax solo vamp. We go back to the verse. Here's how we end it. Very simply with a C minor 9 chord. I added this little gong thing here. It took me about an hour to find that. All right, that's what we got today. We're looking pretty good. We got a five-minute version of the Game of Thrones theme song. I think what I'll probably do next is add some guitar, and then we'll be ready for sax, and we'll be looking good. So today I've spent the uh, pretty much all day uh, fine-tuning this song. Uh, I did a lot of other small things. Uh, I fine-tooth combed the bass and piano parts so that they're perfect and, and, and they click together really well. Uh, I spent some time doing things like uh, putting these uh, panning instructions on these parts so they move back and forth in the pan as we listen to them. Uh, I also recorded these, these little lines right here. One is uh, what I call a whistle part, and then there's this little transition part. Let me play those for you real quickly here. Yeah, this little whistle part right here. Those two elements really make this thing sound a little bit more smooth jazz-ish. Not that it's not already sounding kind of smooth jazz-ish. Uh, here's another whistle part. A little contrapuntal whistle. That's 
actually a synth bar, it's not a whistle bar. Anyway, spent about, uh, I don't know, six hours today doing all that. Now, this evening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some guitar parts. So I'm going to try to layer in maybe three or four different guitar parts and see how they sound. So I'll check back with you after I do that. All right, at this point, I've got a couple of guitar parts that I like. Uh, here's a quick sample in the intro. You can hear a guitar part on either side, both left and right. See them right down here. how it ends. Alright, I guess with that I've got a, a fully formed play along, as it were, and time to add some sax. Since I last uh, reported, uh, I've done a lot of work on the song. I've completed the saxophone parts. You can see those down here in green. Uh, I have endlessly tinkered with uh, uh, a lot of these parts, kind of obsessively tinkered with them, like the upright bass part and the drum parts and all these other parts. Anyway, here is how it's sounding at this point from the beginning. Oh yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Here's the verse. Here's the chorus. Three saxophones. Oh, I like that. So almost done. Almost done with this uh, project. I just have to mix it and master it. Then I'll be ready to publish it. I'll, I'll be making a play-along version of it, of course. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll probably come back and do one more video after it's all done, just to say goodbye. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my smooth jazz version of the Game of Thrones theme song. Uh, like I said, it took me about three weeks from start to finish to do this project. I didn't work on it every day, uh, but I did do a lot of work. Uh, one thing that you don't see that I don't share with you is the obsessive amount of uh, tinkering I do with the parts. Uh, I just can't help myself sometimes. Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, share them with me. I'll get right back to them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.